Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. So we were discussing about array manipulation and in the previous tutorial we discussed about how we can resize and reshape numpy arrays. So today in this tutorial we'll see how to flatten numpy arrays. So flattening numpy arrays. We can flatten the numpy arrays in different ways but here we'll discuss two of them. One is using flatten method and the second one is using ravel function. Okay, so first we'll see how to flatten the numpy arrays using flatten method. So this method will return a copy of the array collapsed into one dimension. So if you give 2D array, 3D array or 4D array, this method will return copy of that array collapsed into one dimension. So we can get the output as 1D array. You can convert 2D, 3D, 4D array to 1D array. So we'll see the syntax of this method. We need to mention ND array. It is nothing but array name dot flatten. And it contains one parameter that is order. And by default order value is C. You can take order as C, A, F or K. So here ND array is nothing but the array which you want to flatten and this is the method name and order is the parameter. Here C is nothing but it will flatten the array in row major order C style. F is nothing but it will flatten in column major Fortran style. A will flatten the array in column major order if array is Fortran contiguous in memory row major otherwise and K flatten the array in the order the elements occur in memory. So we usually use C or F. Okay, so then let's see the example. Here we have a 3D array. We created this array from the array function. You can see this is a 3D array. So to flatten this, I need to mention the array name that is B dot flatten. And here I won't mention the order parameter. If I didn't mention the order parameter, it will take the default value that is C. Okay, so now if I enter, it will give a copy of array which contains same elements in the array B. But here we can see this is the 1D array, one dimensional array. It will flatten 3D array. It will convert 3D array to 1D array, right? Here, now if I mention order, default value is C. So I won't mention C, I'll mention F and enter. It will return 163927. Okay, this is the column wise. Okay, that's why we got like this 1639274410. Here we can see the different order. But anyway, it will convert the 3D array to 1D array. You can check for the order K and F also. Okay, we'll get output like this. So usually we'll use C or uh, F as order. Okay, so this is about the flattening 3D array. So we'll see another example for this. So here I'll take 2D array and a dot flatten enter. Okay, it will flatten the array. If I mention order as F, okay, one, three, two, four. This is the column wise operation, right? So one, three, two, four it will give output like this. Okay, so this is about the flattening the numpy array using flatten method. This method will return the copy of array containing same element as the given array, but the dimension will be collapsed into one dimension. So next we'll talk about the ravel function. So this function is also used to flatten the array. Here in this function, a 1D array containing the elements of the input is returned but a copy is made only if needed. In the flatten method, it will give the copy of the array, but in this function, it will copy the element only when it is needed, otherwise it will give the view of the array. And the syntax is, you need to mention numpy.ravel and here array and here order. By default, it is C. So here, a is nothing but the array which you want to flatten. Here order you can use C, A, F, K. C is the row wise operation. F is the column wise operation. So A is column wise operation if array is Fortran contiguous in memory. 
rho is otherwise k is nothing but the order in which the elements occur in memory okay and usually we'll use c or f and uh, we'll see the example here we have 2d array so you need to mention np dot ravel because here i took numpy as np and here you need to mention the array name that is a i won't mention the order so it will take the default value that is c so it will give 10 20 30 40 if you give order as f sorry it will do the column wise operation so this is about the ravel function in 2d array next we will see another example so here we'll take a 3d array and to perform the operation you need to mention np dot ravel and you need to mention the array name okay you can mention order or you can ignore it okay it will flatten the array and next there is an equivalent method to this ravel function that that is you can flatten the array using this method also that is nd array dot ravel and here you need to mention the order okay that is the equivalent method to this function so in this you can take array name that is b dot ravel and here you can mention the order or you can ignore it okay it will also do the same thing it will also flatten the array okay so this is about the ravel function and flatten method so now what is the difference between these two flatten method and ravel function is used to flatten the given array then what is the difference between these two so this flatten method returns a copy of array okay so it will return a copy but in the ravel function it will return the copy only when it is needed otherwise it will give the view of the array ravel function returns only reference or view of virginal array and the ravel function is the library level function but flatten is a method of nd array object here we'll write the flatten as nd array dot flatten but here we can write this function as numpy dot ravel right or we can use this as method also using nd array dot ravel but we can't write flatten as numpy dot flatten because it is not a function so we can't write like this flatten is a method of nd array object but ravel is a library level function okay so this is about how we can flatten the given array so we'll continue the discussion on the array manipulation in the next tutorial also that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care